Web Assistant 3.1.0 was released last week, so I'm going to take a quick run through some of the new functionality in it. First of all, I'm going to go to my S4HANA system. This system has Web Assistant attached to it, which you can see right here. I have my usual question mark icon. Notice the Web Assistant is not immediately displayed in this example. None of my hotspots, highlights are, etc. So I'm going to open the Web Assistant carousel and I can now see my help tiles and the hotspots. And I'm going to go straight into edit mode. Now, as soon as I do that, you'll see that I see a new pop-up panel. This is the first of the new features. From now on, whenever there's a new release of Web Assistant, as soon as you go into edit mode, SAP Enable Now is going to show information about this new release, show you what new functionality is in it, that kind of stuff. Now, in this release, SAP Enable Now are providing what it calls onboarding training for Web Assistant content creators. And that's what we're seeing pop up here. So here I will click continue and I get into the Web Assistant onboarding. Now this provides me with some basic help on how to create help tiles, guided tours and stuff like that in Web Assistant. So if you've never received any training on Web Assistant, then this is a great place to start. So that's the first new feature with Web Assistant 3.1.0. This Web Assistant onboarding will always be available to you. If I close this down now, you'll see that it's always available right here at the bottom of the options menu. Now, if you're more familiar with the usual release information, that is also in here. We have that release information at the top here. I can click on that. Now, unlike previously, where it would list all of the different releases and you could open the release notes from there, here it goes straight into the release notes for the new version. So you don't need to go and select it from a list. And as usual, this takes you through all of the new features. But the one thing I'll show you here is at the very end, it says if you want to get to all of the other release information, you can do that here. Always on the last page, I can click open release information here. And then I'm back to information more or less in the same structure that I used to see for each version, the release date, a highlight of what's coming it, and then read more will take you to those release notes for that version. This is information that we had before, it's just newly structured. The fact that it launches into the stuff for the new version is kind of new but again, it is still all available via the options menu right here. Now, that's the first of the interesting new features in here. The next one that I'm going to show you is kind of a bit more useful. If you recall, when you first go into the S4 system or whatever system you've got your web assistant connected to, there's no highlights, there's no carousel or anything like this. There's a new feature where you can force it to show highlights even before the carousel has been opened. So let me show you how that works. Note here, I've got my help icon here. I want to provide some more help to my users to say, hey, here's a help icon. This is gonna pull up Web Assistant where you've got a bunch of great content. So I want to highlight that before they've even clicked on anything. So if I go into that again, the tile that I use for this is called get help. I can see that when I hover over it and it's this help tile here. So that's the one that I'm going to edit. So I'm gonna go into edit mode, find that get help tile and edit it. And on the Appearance tab, there is a new setting called Show Instantly. This is the one that's gonna force it to show that highlight for this particular element on the screen that I've tied to it with a hotspot. It will show that as soon as the user hits this particular screen. So I'm gonna select that and we'll see what difference that makes in a minute. Now, while I'm here, one of the other things that they've put in, if you recall from the last release, all of these sections here, tile, hotspot, bubble, etc., on all of these different tabs, were in collapsible sections. That's now been removed in an attempt to put as much information as possible on the dialog box. Personally, I'm not as much of a fan of that, but that's how we get it now. One good thing about this, though, is that this panel, you can now move to wherever you want to on the screen. It's not docked to the particular object or anything like that, which is a bit more useful. OK, so show instantly. Let's go and see what that does. I'll apply that. I need to save my changes first. Wait for the green message at the top of the screen. Always wait for that message. There we go. Now I'm going to close Web Assistant. And I close it and it's as if Web Assistant has never been opened. The carousel's not displayed. So this is kind of as things look when I first access this screen without launching Web Assistant. 
And now you can see that I do have this hotspot highlighted already, even though I've not gone into Web Assistant. And as soon as I click on that, it's going to show me the help for this. And it tells me exactly what I can find. So that is what Show Immediately does. It's going to show this even though I've not even opened Web Assistant yet. Once I do open Web Assistant, it's working as before. I've got my tile in here, it points to it. I've still got my pop-up bubble there. But this forces it to show that help bubble before the user has even launched Web Assistant. And you can do this for any element on the screen, any of these things, whatever they're pointing to. All of these that are tied to a hotspot, they all have this option now under the Appearance tab. You'll see the Show Instantly option. And that's what's doing that. So any element here, personally, I find it very useful for the Web Assistant icon itself so that users know where they can find help. Now, the last thing I'll show you is you can see here that the icon used for the help is a question mark inside a circle. There's a new feature where you can change this to one of many, many other icons that SAP provide. Those icons are actually provided by a set of 665 different icons that SAP provide for you in their standard SAP icon set. You'll recognize a lot of these icons from other places they're used, specifically in the Fiori tiles and things like that. And you can pick any of these to use. You just need to note its name, the name that we see in here. So I'm gonna go and find one I want to use. I'm gonna use this e-learning thing. I'm gonna use this icon for my help icon in Web Assistant. So I need to make a note of this text here, this e-learning. So I'm gonna copy that. Now, back here, this is where you can use this in a parameter. And that parameter can obviously be used in the Fury catalog, or you can use it in the URL when you're testing things out. Ideally, you don't leave it in the URL for all users to see. But for here, I'm going to just type it into here. So I'm going to go and add this new parameter. Because I'm typing it in the URL, I need to prefix it with HELP dash. The new parameter ID is button icon ID case sensitive equals and then the identifier of that icon that I just picked which is e-learning in this case make sure that I have another parameter start here and let's see what difference that makes for us so I'm going to refresh my screen and now you can see that my web assistant help icon is now using the icon I told it to so I can put any icon I like out of this entire set here and that will then be used for Web Assistant. This is probably of most use if you're attaching Web Assistant to an application that already has a question mark icon for help. I know some of the SAP products do that. So this is a good way of differentiating Web Assistant content from anything else. Anyway, they are the three most useful changes that have been introduced in Web Assistant 3.1.0. That's the show immediately, that we have these onboarding tutorials and that the release notes are shown automatically as soon as you go into edit node. And thirdly, the ability to put a custom icon in for your help button. That's it. Hope you found that useful.